So the first song that I'd like to sing tonight is, uh, it's an old hymn. Uh, if you know it, feel free to sing along uh, to the best of your abilities. The name of it is Come Ye Sinners. Um, I like to play a little more of a folk style, so I hope that you guys enjoy upbeat, um, bouncy, and uh, just not your typical normal worship. So if you know the songs, feel free to sing along with them. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this time that we have. Um, the first song, Come Ye Sinners, is one that particularly speaks to my heart. Is It's one that my mom used to really love. Um, she passed away back in February. But uh, she, uh, she used to love this song dearly. And so her love for it kind of inspired my love for it. So I hope you guys enjoy. This next song is an original song called Our God Redeems. The chorus is super simple. So I, I, again, I would encourage you guys to sing it. The, the first half of the chorus is, oh, hallelujah, praise the King of Kings. And the second half of it is, 
Oh, hallelujah. The Lord our God redeems. because our lives were all, every one of us, set on a path to destruction. We were all following after our own way, following after the prince of the power of the air, as Ephesians 2 says. We were dead in our trespasses and sins. And it's because of the grace of God and the grace alone that we have the ability to worship. It's by his grace alone that we have any hope of heaven. Amen to that right now when you look around there's so much chaos there's so much heartache and um pain everywhere you look right now we've got rioting protesting we've got the virus we've got all kinds of different things uh i even saw something what was the murder hornets now and uh i i saw a man joking about just all the chaos going in the world and I even had a, a bear using ninjacks and i said oh great now i've got ninja bears to worry about but ultimately everywhere you look right now there's trial and hardship. And so this next song is a song by Keith and Kirsten Getty called Lord from Sorrow's Deep I Call. And it's just one of those songs that touches my heart because it reminds me that when the world around you is crashing down, we can put our hope in God, who is our help, our, our rock, and he is our salvation. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope this touches you. Amen. Lord. 
Lord, from sorrows deep I call. When my hope is shaken, torn and ruined from the fall, hear my desperation. For so long I pled and prayed, God come to my rescue. Even so, the thorn remains. Still my heart will praise you. Storms within my troubled soul. Questions without answers. On my faith these billows roll. God be then my shelter. Why are you cast down my soul? Hope in him who saves you. When the fires have all grown cold, still my heart will praise you. And oh my Put your hope in God, my help, my rock, I will praise Him. Sing, oh, sing through the raging storm. You're still my God, my salvation. Should my life be torn from me, every worldly pleasure, when all I possess is grief, God be then my treasure, be my vision in the night, be my hope and refuge. Till my faith is turned to sight, Lord, my heart will praise you. And oh, my soul, put your hope in God, my help, my rock, I will praise him. And sing, oh, sing through the rain. my God, my salvation, and oh my soul, put your hope in God, my help, my rock, I will praise Him, and sing, oh sing, hear the raging storm, you're still my God. my God, my salvation. You're still my God, my salvation. You're still my God, my salvation. Do I have time for one more? I think you do, and I've got a question for you first, though. So yes, my, sir. So my question is, okay, you and your wife together, you sing, and you call yourself SOE Worship, Son of Encouragement. Where, what's the story behind that? Actually, it goes all the way back to a missionary trip that I took back when I was 17. And I had to teach on, I had to prepare a sermon on 
any passage from the book of Acts. And uh, I had to prepare the sermon. One of the things that I came across was Barnabas. And Barnabas was the first one to really recognize that Paul had been changed, that his life had been transformed by the gospel. And he went to the apostles, and even the apostles were hesitant to uh, hear him. But something that I thought was really interesting was Barnabas had such a testimony of encouraging those around him that they actually literally nicknamed him son of encouragement. That's what the word Barnabas means, son of encouragement. And I thought, you know, that is something that I would like my testimony to be, that I'm someone that is so quick to encourage and so quick to point others to Christ that it just radiates out of me and people will want to call me the son of encouragement. Additionally, my goal is to sing songs of encouragement um, to fulfill the command of, of Ephesians 5 and Colossians 3, where it says to encourage one another with songs, hymns, and spiritual songs. And so with those two ideas put together, we thought between me and my wife, we were just thinking, you know, that's just such a beautiful name and such a beautiful picture of what our mission statement is to be sons of encouragement, spreading songs of encouragement. And I think you're doing, I think you're doing that because I know you personally and I'm, I myself in the same way. I love to encourage people always whenever I have a chance to. And I see that you're doing it through your music and you know, with your family. So it's just beautiful. I see your SOE shirt now that I'm knowing that, that we're talking about. Yeah, it. it's SOE worship. Hopefully, yeah. um, if life goes back to normal anytime soon, I'm hoping to sell these to help um, raise money to actually record a uh, decent quality CD. Well, and I, so, yeah, I hope so too. Well, yeah, well, you have time for one last song, and uh, let me say this also: you are Irish, of your Irish descent, descendants, correct? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Scots Irish and English. Okay, well, it comes out in your music. I feel like I'm in the UK, you know, a couple of centuries ago <laughs> listening to this. It sounds very historic, you know. So, bless us with one more song, please. Thank you. This next song is written by a band called Judoc, or let me try again. This next song is written by a band called um, Ghost Ship, and it's a reminder to Israel, and it's actually based on the, towards the end of the book of Jude, where it says to, uh, to the only God, our Savior, Jesus Christ, be glory and honor and power and dominion. For, um, and so that is where the chorus of this song comes from, but it's a reminder particularly to the people of the Jewish descent, and really to us as well, that when God led Israel out of Egypt, that it was all Jesus that was doing the miracles. It was, it was Jesus who was the pillar of fire. It was Jesus who was the pillar of smoke. And it was all the power of God that led Israel out of Egypt. And so with that, um, I hope you guys enjoy Jude Doxology by Ghost Ship. Um 
remember Jesus reigns above the heavens. He's coming, he is coming with his kingdom. Do not forget, he is seated on the throne. Remember what he has done to the only God, our Savior Jesus Christ. We glory, honor, power, and dominion before all time and now and Remember that he is king. 